to say that I work for one of the largest internet service providers in the country. And the one thing that I want each and every one of you to think about when you think about all of the opportunities for your business and for yourselves in social media is security. And that's where I'm going to let Nellie take over the question. That's right. And I wanted, I, I, I said to me, and I was so excited she was coming because I'm paranoid. <laughs> And I'm always thinking, if I leave information on the internet, am I going to get like messed up in the end? And you know, I hear that internet security is going to be the biggest business. Talk yes. about emerging business in the next 20 years, because everybody's posted everything, and now everybody can profile you. And we're giving away our information. Yeah. Which of these things are true, and which of uh, them are false? Well, I will tell you, just about everything that you said is true. I know so, but, but here's the good. Here's the good news. Here's the good news. The good news is, is that, uh, you know, I've often said, you know, as a senior executive of an organization, many executives, similar to the um, governmental individuals that don't like to be on Facebook, uh, we have to embrace the digital platforms. We have to be able to, to embrace the social media platforms. So we shouldn't be scared. That's the number one thing. Uh, what's really important, and this is not a plug for my company, but, you know, I would not be doing its service. But what's really important is that you have security and safety on your internet connection. Uh, my responsibility is to make sure that the network where we serve our customers is safe and secure, is absent of any type of malware that may be present that is going to mine your data or collect your data for malfeasance. Uh, but there's also a legitimate thing that you have to consider. The beauty of all the programs and the platforms that the young ladies were sharing, oh, thank you. It's in the middle um, so everybody can see. We're sharing with you all uh, has something that's called velocity. It's very quick to develop your website, to post on Facebook, and to tweet. And you have to be very, very cautious about how much information you share, what you're saying to who, and how you are saying it. I often speak in my organization about brand protection. One of my jobs is to make sure that the network is safe and secure, but it's also my job to protect the brand called Comcast. And you all, in your entrepreneurial spirits and in your initiatives, must make sure that your brand is also protected. And when you say that, how do we do that? Eso está muy bonito to say, but how do we do it? You surround yourself by people like me that know, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, well, the reality is, is that you've got to be able to, there's a thing out there called, um, in the cybersecurity world, it's, and it sounds kind of weird, but it's called internet hygiene. I don't know if any of you guys have heard of this before. But it's about making sure that what your interaction points, whether it be you, yourself, or your business, are interacting with on the internet to make sure that the hygiene of what you're doing on the internet is sound. What do I mean by that? Don't offer more information that's necessary. Even in this day and age, it surprises me when I interact with some businesses and they ask for my credit card. And I put my credit card out there and I look at it and it's not encrypted. It's not matched. Well, how do we know that though? You huh? know, because when you're typing it on the screen, you know, you type it on the screen and it shows the number versus the dots. Oh. That's one indication. If it is what we call clear text, that's a no-no. Another is when you look at the websites that you're interacting with, it's so simple. You know at the top of the bar, there is that your website address, and there's a little thing in the front that says HTTP. Always look for HTTPS. And you don't even have to type it. If the website is secure and it has a layer of security. I'm in shock. <laughs> I obviously know nothing at all. You want to pay attention to that. It's extremely important because HTTPS sites are more secure than the ones that don't have the yes. But at the end of the day, companies, it could happen to any company. You open the newspaper every day, you hear about a company that's had a security breach, a data breach. Companies are doing the best that they can to protect you in your interactions, but it's important that you minimize the amount of information that you share. Secondarily, it's extremely important that your customers, those of you that are entrepreneurs, that are putting your websites out there, that are, you're doing work in the digital age, that you make sure that you project an air of confidence and security to your customers. Because as more and more happens in the cybersecurity space, people are going to be afraid of transacting with you. So you've got to make sure that you're, you're giving them that type of security. Now, how about this idea that you're using the same password for all your little accounts? Big no-no. Um, I will tell you that uh, in our organization, we have a very 
robust process where we cycle through passwords, that we do, we do educate not only our customers, but even our internal resources about the importance of passwords. And I like to say, forget the password. It should be a pass phrase. Your password should be a phrase. It should be something that will be a little bit easier for you to remember, but very unique that people are not going to guess. So if, if Nelly's password is Adelante 2014, no good. Because why? I know enough about Nelly, about what she does, what she's passionate about. That's probably going to be a factoid. Uh, but past phrases, I think, are extremely important. You must cycle through them quite often. And do not use the same one for everything. Oh, boy. That's hard to remember, though. That is. OK, yeah. and then how about using all the most important thing for me is here we're hearing from Google. You know, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. Is there anything to be careful of? You're like the independent one. That so, if we put like too many pictures of your kid, you know, or your kid puts yeah. a picture of them drinking alcohol, that sooner or later, you know, it's stuck there and it's never going to come out. I hate yeah. What is the cautionary tale of stuff we post and stuff we do not post? I'll tell you, I mentor a number of young ladies that are studying engineering and they're very interested in progressing their professional career. And I tell them something about the internet. It's an in ink. It's not in pencil. Whatever you write, whatever you post, whatever you put out there, even though I can delete a post on Facebook and I can delete a tweet, by the time I do that, somebody's seen it, captured it, and has a screenshot of it. So you have to approach your interactions on the internet and knowing very well that it is forever, and you cannot erase, and you cannot delete. Did you hear that, Lucas, my son? <laughs> but for him, it's good. <laughs> no, but you know, he puts things on sometimes, and I'm like, oh, he's yeah. not going to like that when he's 45. There's, there is something, though, that's, that it's true. It's like that tattoo that looked good one time, not when you're 70. Not so good. But uh, there's, there is something that's, uh, it's a legitimate trade of hackers, and it's a legitimate trade of people that are out there to do nothing but harm, and it's called social engineering. So all of these social platforms have created such a great environment for us to interact with one another, to promote our businesses, to be able to promote movements just like this. I mean, I have eight Adelante Power hashtags already <laughs> in my Twitter feed that I've already put out there. But we have to be very cautious because these same platforms can be used to, to trick you that you are engaging with somebody trustworthy. Just about every single time that I speak at a conference, I'll get a strange email from someone that says, Myrna, click here for a picture of you on stage. And I always hesitate. Do I really want to click on this? I don't oh, know. Oh, no, this so is. those are bad when you get those. Those are bad. They, they, don't, they could be bad, but they're not always bad. But what happens is, is that the more information that's out there about you, again, you want it you out there. Up. You want to promote yourself. You want to make sure people know who you are, what you have to offer as you're advancing your career or your business. But you have to be cautious. Maybe, maybe your full birthday is not necessary, right? Maybe, maybe not your address. Maybe, well, we could lie about our age. That would be we, OK. That, actually, that's a good rule of thumb. Shave 10 years off, you're good. Uh, 